Alright, got the radio going. You can hear that I can't pick anything up. All I have is this DC lights pulsing from this battery, which is sending a signal through the switch out my wire and into this machine where the charger is out here running this battery bank which is running my saw a little water and I need to wind some better coils because I also need to drill a hole for some springs but believe it or not damn thing's working And it's actually cutting too. But it needs more power, obviously. Magnet wire, copper coils, maybe bigger batteries, bigger wire. A lot of losses. <laughs> but anyway. coming from all the way over through this wire off of the wheel actually coming off of this little battery here it's not coming from over there and then back on the switch it's actually coming from this little battery picking up that big ass relay out there Ooh. getting tired oh yeah and there's my other relay I made last night which has to go through some sort of a chipping hammer we'll see what happens anyway over and out. So now it's in rhythm. That big weight is actually helping the system because the spring is in rhythm with the wheel. So for even dead batteries it caught a rhythm and it's cutting better than it was before. But that THHN is getting warm. It's been going for about 10 minutes, so I want to shut it off and get some good magnet wire with like number 10 or something wrapped right around a tight spool that causes that thing to really cut. Because the load's going to get higher and higher as it starts to cut the rock in flat. So you saw it on the garage floor. Now you just see it because I actually want to cut something. That's a big rock. I want to make a something I can wash my hands in at least. Wash my hands of all this. <laughs> Over and out. Maybe not. I am still going. Wheels humming away. And yeah, this relay here <laughs> has nothing to do with those over there. That's running the wheel. This one here is going to have some contacts right there so I can run a chipping hammer. All right. 